In this video, I want to give a brief overview of Imply Cloud. Imply Cloud is an AWS based managed service where you can bring your own VPC connected up to our management VPC and then use our interface and our management console to spin up a cluster with only a few clicks inside of your own hardware. I'm going to show you how to spin up a cluster and I'm going to take you through it step by step. So here I already have some clusters spun up. This is our own account inside of Imply Cloud, and um, I already have some clusters running. But I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to do it from scratch. I do that by clicking on this new cluster button. And um, then I pick a name for it. I could say video demo. And I just select the version, select the instance role, and then I scale out my cluster however I want. All I have to do is just pick which instances I want and how many. It's kind of like ordering a pizza. So I'm going to make a pretty small cluster because no point making a big one just for a demo. I'm going to just make it like this. And there's a bunch of advanced configurations that are possible as well. You can even specify the exact properties and configurations that will be going on every single node. Anyhow, I'm pretty happy with the defaults, so I'm just going to click Create Cluster. It will confirm that it's going to actually spin up a lot of these instances for me, and uh, it looks about right, so this isn't going to break the bank. I'm going to confirm this right now. So there it is. There's my video demo cluster. It's still creating. I can manage this cluster and I can see what's going on with it. As you can see, right now, nothing too interesting is happening in this cluster. Sort of just uh, waiting to be spun up. I can click on the messages and just see that, um, and see what's going on right now. Here I'm seeing that uh, some resource creation requests have started going through. Now let's wait a bit for the cluster to create. So now my cluster here is spun up. I didn't need to do anything to, to get it there. I just gave it some time and it created all the resources, the instances, provisioned all the storages and configured everything accordingly. Uh, I can explore it here. I can look at its setup. Um, if I wanted to do some change to this cluster, maybe I wanted to scale it up or change the version. I could easily just do it from here and click Apply Changes, and I'll demo that in a little bit. Uh, I can see the servers that are actually running. Here are five servers, just as I asked. One data server, one query server, and three master servers. So you got to have that high availability. Um, I can configure lookups from here if I wanted to have some lookups in my cluster. And also, I have all the API endpoints. If I actually wanted to uh, somehow query this cluster externally, I have all the endpoints here and I can download the certificates. Um, I have my uh, password uh, that I can use for creating API users. And um, basically anything that I need to interact with, I can find on this tab. And uh, now I can open. When I open this cluster, it takes me to the pivot interface that uh, comes with every cluster. Uh, I can access it through cloud.imply.io and I'm going to click load data and I'm just going to run through the quick start. Just load the quick start data just so there's some data to play with in this cluster. But basically, I can start loading data straight away. Right, my data is loaded and I can start visualizing it. So here I am playing with this data and it's quite there. This cluster is by default secure and it's also uh, automatically has all the metrics monitoring hooked up to it. So I can, I can see what my slowest queries were I can see 
that is queries listed to the historical servers. If I see something interesting, I can always go beyond this view and actually dive deep and see the actual data that's happening. I can see all these different fields that get recorded, uh, like for example, the dimension that was being queried. And I can see which dimensions might be the slowest ones or which dimensions might be speeding up my queries. So it looks like uh, the comment length dimension on average is the slowest one. Going back to the cluster manager, I wanna show you what is the real advantage of something like the cloud setup. Uh, now, when I created this cluster, I picked the latest version but uh, let's say a new version comes out, or let's say I decided I wanted to downgrade to an earlier version. I could simply pick a different version here from the list and click Apply Changes. But you know what, maybe I'll add another data server while I'm at it. I can perform whatever changes I want, and the system will automatically calculate and see if it, these changes can be done in a rolling manner. So here, everything will be managed for me. So here, this cluster is being updated right now. And while it's being updated, I can see what stages and steps it's going to take to actually do the update. If I expand this, I can see the detailed breakdown. It's basically a little recipe that it, it wrote for itself. And it's just going to progress through these steps one by one. While the cluster is being updated, I can still query it. I can go through and, and interact with it. Uh, the update will carry out without any service interruption. And even though I only have one query node and one data node, uh, or at least originally I only had one data node, uh, it will temporarily spin up a new one while it transitions the old one to the new one. So it's going to make sure that at all times I can seamlessly uh, be interacting with the data and my users never know that anything happened. And just like this, the update has completed. That took no effort on my part. Uh, I just kind of did it all by itself. Uh, the cluster was serviceable and usable all throughout the, the update process. I'm now running a lower version and uh, I have a f one more node. I can go to my servers and I see uh, a new data node created here. And that's the basis of Imply Cloud. I don't have to fiddle with cluster management I can spend my time doing the stuff that's actually really fun, which is loading data in and playing with it. And now, now that this video is over, I'm gonna stop this cluster to make sure that it doesn't consume any more resources. Thank you for watching.